Previously on Encounters. I would not advise you to stay long in here either. Right. Not when you're on your own anyway. It is down these menacing corridors that the sounds of giggling spirits of lost children have been heard. My investigation at Margam Castle thus far has produced some astonishing results and evidence. And as I prepare myself for the final area of investigation in the Talbot room, nothing can prepare me for what lies ahead. My mate was up here one night and he had a trifle meter in his hand and he was actually standing off far from where I am now. And he, he went like that and all of a sudden it was like lightning shot down at him. Hit him, knocked him off his feet. So it was like a massive static electricity hit him. Uh, what, just come out the ceiling? It just came out the ceiling. It, you could actually see it was like, like you know, zigzag blue. Yeah. And it just hit him off his feet. It didn't affect him otherwise, but he, he had a little of a fright, obviously, yeah. because it hit the trifilm meter. And it's, but it still worked after that. It still worked. Well, was we the smell of electric or? The smell of like sulfur. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> right? So yeah. it was like a, I know what smell of sulfur is usually, yeah. but nothing after that. It's never happened after that. While the crew was setting up to film a B roll sequence in the nursery, I had gone off to prepare the investigation equipment ready for the evening ahead. As I entered the Talbot room, which was in total darkness, I reached for my torch. And in doing so, my hand was violently smacked from behind, which in turn launches my torch skyward. Just coming in here and just walking in. I get in here, and obviously it's quite light on the stairs, so in here it's pitch black. I reach in my pocket, get my torch out, and something knocked my hand. And it wasn't the door, because I was in the room. And I got my torch out and it was like, and that's pretty much where it landed. That's exactly where it landed. And then I'm like, I can't even see where my torch is. There's nothing around you. No. I couldn't, because if it, if it had been the door, it would have been the front snot. This hit me, this hit me on the back. I'm just seeing if there's any marks. There's no marks. There's no marks there. Oh, did you hear it? Not the floor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I said. <laughs> that wasn't pleasant because I wasn't expecting it. You know, we've been doing this game for how long, Kev? But I did not. I did not expect that. That we've been pushed. We've been tagged. But that—that that was a knock. That was almost. It, it may have been playful, but it felt malicious. On watching back this footage from my experience in the Talbot room, explaining to the crew about my unnerving interaction with an unseen entity, I am startled by how disturbed I am, even minutes after the event. Little did I know that this time that this uneasy dread would have massive repercussions later in my investigation. For the final part of tonight's investigation, I moved to the room which has filled me with pure dread during filming earlier. As the ITC portal device has produced some astonishing results already, I make this the vocal point of attempts at communication. Robert Scott here. Tell you my name. Yes, I know your name. Did you say my name? Can you ask Lady Charlotte to join us, please? Counters. If you're in there, can you come in here, please? Hello? Anybody there? Jesus! <laughs>